second to part two of this message yeah i'm still dressing the same but i have to cut it because i don't want my video to be more than 10 minutes i get bored when i have to listen to a video for so long <laughs> you know it just 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 frustrating me somehow except i'm listening to the message of the word of god and that makes me really but this is it you listen to the message of the word of god but i still want to keep it short as much as possible so we were talking about the purpose there's a purpose that god if you keep to your purpose if you can to do your purpose it will begin to show you supernatural things you begin to be a weakness to god you begin to be a weakness you know imagine i say to a, a person of my dear friend of mine yeah, I shouldn't say that now. Okay, let me keep that. Okay, open your Bible to the same book, the book of hearts, please. Open your Bible to the book of hearts. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. You may wonder, huh, why did she just stop what she wanted to say about that friend that person close to her? Because the Holy Spirit asked me to keep quiet. Train yourself. <laughs> you have to train yourself i'm i'm training myself i'm learning more and i oh uh, i imagine there's a bible study class from one of our man of god i write it down you know i saw a meeting and it was amazing but evangelist yam was giving us our bible study it was to say think of the word ah uh, that message and it, it changed my life but it's not what i'm gonna if you have not subscribed to his channel, his channel is uh, at God's Home Family on YouTube, God's Home Family. I don't know. I hope I'm saying it right. God's Own Family on YouTube. Follow him. He's a great man of God. So this is Flourish Channel. Don't forget and subscribe. At chapter 1, verse 7 to 8, it says, And he said unto them, It is not for you. To know the time or the season which the Father has put in His own power. You may like, ah, why is she bending and reading? I'm reading my Bible. Hallelujah. He said, but you shall receive power. Power, the dynamic ability to cause changes. Oh, glory to God. He said, you, you say, it said in the book of Ephesians, he said, he said to him that he's able to carry his purpose. You cannot carry God's purpose without not having this power in you. So this one, this part is going to be purpose and power. Hallelujah. Purpose and power. The first one is purpose. This is purpose and power. He said, say, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have then you can carry this purpose. That's why when you are born again, you have to receive the Holy Spirit into your life. Okay, I am so sorry for that noise. I just said it in the part one. I'm just running out to help the kids with the one half kids. So let's continue on our message. We're talking about the purpose, and I said this part is the purpose and the power. And we just read here in the book of Hearts, chapter 1, verse 8. And it says, without the power of the Holy Ghost, you cannot carry out the purpose of God. If you study your Bible, you will see when Jesus Christ told the disciples that it's best for him to go. Because if he did not go, the power will not come upon them. The Holy Spirit will not come upon them to do what all he has taught them. So he has to go for the Holy Spirit to come. He said, I will sing another comforter, a helper, your intercessor, that will guide you. And he said, they said, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Hallelujah. So when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you begin to weakness, he said. And you shall be weakness unto me, but, hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit comes unto you, you begin to weakness. Weakness supernatural things. Just like I said, you begin to see, be in a place when you can lay your hand on the sick and the sick will recover. You begin to function in a place that people will come to meet you with different things that they are going through 
and you pray together and you begin to see answers coming from those things. You begin to prophesy and you see the prophecy coming to pass. But you have to receive these powers for you to be able to carry out your mission, your purpose, your, your, the work God has called you to do. Even in other aspects of it, to other purpose you are carrying, your physical purpose, you're becoming a, uh, I want to become the big bear, so the holder, uh, having is going to school, make, having a company, uh, opening your own business, getting married, having kids, whatever things it is. But you still need this purpose. You still need this power, I mean, to enable you to do that successfully. Because do you know how many, how many people who try to go to school even when they have the money, but then they can't even able to be educated enough to just not able to catch it? Maybe, yeah, in Africa you can pay and then you jump. <laughs> But not for Africa, but yeah, but it's not even nice because because of your money, you can just pay someone and move. But when they ask you to come and use what you learn, then you cannot even put no, you, you cannot even say it. you have a certificate, but you can't even prove how you get that certificate. Hallelujah! That is the, the same thing they say the Dutch press, uh, former king, uh, queen, when I think he was traveling, and then there were some people in the embassy and carrying a Dutch passport. I don't know if the story was true, but I think something from it. And they were talking to the person in Dutch, he was replying them in English. And the king was really angry. And they have to take the passport away because how can you carry a Dutch passport? And you cannot def you cannot even define that you that you can't even speak the language. The same thing in it. You, there's a purpose given to you. And as we say, you shall receive the Holy Spirit. You shall receive power for you to be able to carry this mission. And you become, as you receive the Holy Spirit, you begin to witness. You begin to do things. You begin to open doors for you. You begin to do, do other things. You begin to see things. There was a dear friend of mine, dear person of mine, that after years of want to be a mother, ah, after yes, you know, <laughs> so I think a person of my family person called me, I think years ago, I said this in church one time, I will never criticize anybody because it, that's why people are just ignorant and maybe just the way she, she just want to take it that time, but that wasn't me. I don't get angry when people say something, don't just throw them with ashes. Caution yourself, caution yourself. Endure hardship, endure time when it's difficult. And time will come, you start enjoy, rejoicing it. It called me, tell, you guys should need to go pray for spiritual barrenness in your family, blah, blah, blah. This is married, that is married. You are married and no kid. <laughs> I said, God is able to do a seedly. And now we all have kids. But it is that like this one, I was, I, I'm, I'm praying to God so much. God, and I saw the baby one time. I saw it. I was so much joy in my heart. But years past, she did not get pregnant. Years past. And I'm like, I, I can't ask God why. No. Time I'm asking God why has passed. Because I know he, he has a reason for everything. You have to, when you have this power, you begin to put it to work. You begin to put it. What happened to the disciples after they received the Holy Spirit? They went boldly into the city. Begin to manifest. Begin to speak the word of God with boldness. If people around you don't know that you are Christ, are you carrying your purpose? Hallelujah. A lady came with his daughter to play with my son. And they were just talking. I said, I wish one I go to church. And he said, you're a Christian? I said, yes, I am a Christian. I, I said, I'm not just a Christian. We just am a Christian staying home. And no, no, I practice it. I do it with all my whole heart. So your purpose, through the Holy Spirit, you can be able to carry your purpose. You can be able to do it. You say, yeah, but how am I going to live? I don't know my purpose. So that's going to be the part three of this message. Sit tight and I'll see you in part three of this message.